all right guys this is the final video of this nissan uh, 4.0 engine and um finally got the timing on i didn't film everything because i'm not that type of, type of uh, youtube savvy so anyways i did the timing and all that i'll explain it to you how it goes as you can see we're looking on right now of course the engines and obviously on the, on the engine stand um that's the best way i can do it i mean i pulled that motor out had the heads done so now, of course, we're in the timing chain. So as we can see, this is the passenger side. As you notice, if you have to line up those uh, back timing chains, it's not that bad. I mean, it's a little, a little complicated, intimidating, but it's not that bad, really. So um, on the passenger side, which is the right side of the engine, um, if you look, this is your secondary timing. So you have your chain links, so brand new chain uh, timing kit, so which was good. Um, so you see those two dots here. You line those up for the back chain, for that uh, secondary chain. As you notice, though, look at the little mark there. Excuse me about that. So you know you on timing when you have that mark, that guide lined up back there. And I'm going to see if I can get a screwdriver and print it out to you. A little bit better sorry about that so this mark here on the cam uh, sprocket or the camshaft has to line up what about there's a little notch right there in the back of it you can see it right there so that lines up but on the other side of it it's a little it's a little more difficult but it's, it's you gotta do it when everything's out uh, anyway there is one dot in the back of that here which is not gonna be able to see it but it also has one uh, painted mark right here See, it has two, but that one that goes on the intake camshaft has two dots, or one dot, excuse me, in the back of it. So anyways, that's the back of the timing, uh, the secondary timing, but it's not too bad. I mean, check your mark just to make sure, but if we go over to the other side of it, we're still talking about the secondary timing. As you notice, I still have my uh, lock on the tensioner, so I haven't moved them out yet. But anyway, the same thing again goes here. You can see the two notches right here. Two chain links, two notches on the secondary uh, um, timing chain sprockets. So you can see that again, the same thing goes here. As you can see on this notch here, on the camshaft, there it goes. There's your notch. That knows that's where that's where the cam sprocket locks onto that notch right here. But back here, if you can see it a little bit, I'm trying to zoom in a little bit, and right in here, that lines up with that so you know you on timing on that one again it's kind of hard to show you i couldn't defend the whole video what i was doing i had i'm by myself right now but anyways if you notice very inside here let me see if i can get okay right there is the chain links for the back side you notice the color coded there and there is one notch or dot that it will lock uh match to on the big cam sprocket but the back of it so there, anyway that's the secondary timing chain um that's how it is it's not too bad i'm moving up there to the um front the main chain obviously you have this notch right here on the cam that lines up with that right here so you're good so down so we're looking for we're going from our left to our right so from the passenger side we're going to go to the right side of the engine notice again the same thing you have your notch right here you have that with a dot here match up with the chain links dot right here and then of course here that's where uh on that time and cover back time and cover then you know that you on on, on time right here so we go down okay we have a guide here that's normal obviously go down to the water pump that's your water pump here and down to the crankshaft sprocket notice this is a gold color Versus the other color was over there, more dark color on the top one, the two timing, the two uh, cam shafts. But in this one, on the, on the crankshaft, it's a dark, uh, a gold color. And that's a little, little nod. Yay. Uh, let me see. I zoom in, right? Uh, sorry about that. Okay, right there. You can see that on the crank, on the crank sprocket right there. There's your dot. And of course, there's your mark right here for uh, the timing chain. All right. Going over to that one, and of course, that's your um, 
the tensioner guide that's the guide that um, rides on that tensioner right here so when we're ready to pull the t uh, the lock the lock pin for the tensioners we'll do them but we're not doing them yet so we're just making sure we have everything ready because it's so hard to compress them again and do all that stuff so there it is guys it's not too bad you know i mean people do it inside the vehicle it's good it's great but this motor we had a complaint of overheating so we sold a time uh, a head job to the person they were losing coolant it was overheating so that's the good best way to do it so i think we got this right and that's the best way to do it so there we go see brand new valve job everything's done good so now we're just about to button up everything make sure our timing is correct which i think 100 percent is correct but hey when you when the motor's outside out of the vehicle is the best way to do time them to time this engine special this engine and of course make sure you don't do, do double work make sure everything lines up because if everything not lined up man you're gonna have a bad bad month <laughs> believe me all right so here we go that's it guys thanks for watching it i hope this helps someone a little bit but I know I didn't film this while I was doing the timing. I'm sorry, but it's not really that bad. Maybe next time I'll do a, a video where I'm uh, showing that I'm I'm doing it, okay? But that's how it goes. That, these are the steps for it. It's easy. There we go. All right. Peace out.